so very good morning to all students so today we are going to see how to install uh, flux which is having both lex and yoc exclusively for windows os so uh, in case of uh, running uh, lex and yoc programs in uh, windows it's quite different from that of uh, unix or uh, linux os so first let's let's check what are the things we need first of all what we need is a tool called flux windows flux windows here you can see lex and yoc lex and yoc so from where we can download this so the size of the program is nearly around 30 mb and here you can see you can download it from the website called techno range and it's exclusively for windows 7 binary version we need to check in the description right so once after um, selecting the flux windows i have clicked down double click that and i'm waiting for uh, the instructions to appear there so the size is nearly around uh, 30 mb it's taking so much so some amount of time generally it's a very big file 30 mb and uh, it will take most of the time and what you need to do is just like, like click next 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 you need not give any instructions there and only thing is you need to select in which folder you're going to install it and why it's taking too much time yeah now it comes it will ask for uh, the permission there you need to check yes just click x yes So even if you run it uh, with several applications in the background generally it used to take uh, much time like this and uh, now you need to make sure that when you are installing this uh, uh, say there are no applications running in the background now it's getting extracted and getting verified too Yeah, now this is the basic main first window that will be appearing in the screen welcome to the flux windows and you need to click next and type agree and where you want to install it I already have installed in the D drive so I'm just now going to proceed with the same that I'm going to install here otherwise if you wish to install in some other location just browse and uh, say choose the appropriate destination folder there but we need to be very careful that uh, now uh, most of the time if your windows is installed in the c drive you prefer in the c drive because it will be using most of the kernel uh, resources right and i'm just now uh, 
cancelling that window i'm go going to go with uh, d drive then next uh, start menu is there choose start menu flux windows i'm going to give the same name then install and proceeds with the and it proceeds with the same uh, set of options whatever i have chosen and then now you can see that the uh, ones uh, after extracting and verifying the files uh, now the installation process is get, getting or uh, picking up some uh, pace now after done after this is over what we need to do is well, we need to launch the application so it's also appending the path that no the compiler has to access uh, files from uh, any folder across the you know, say, uh, drives from starting from C to uh, F in my case. It's taking some time before uh, uh, getting uh, things. Uh, yeah, it's over. And it always checks that now that the uh, ink file, I mean uh, the link uh, file is available there in the shortcut for easy access. If this flux is not there, then it will be really difficult for us to run the programs. It will be appearing, uh, now what is it, really simple compared with the other editors where we need to use only the command prompt or the command mode. Now the edit plus it will be appearing like a small editor with a number of menus uh, attached to it. Yeah, now this is the main uh, thing uh, you know we are going to check here. Just now check about edit plus. This is the editor which is running there, which is having back you know what to say uh, the most the important uh, segment which we are going to use is tool section. I have a set of lexical uh, files available with me. For example, uh, open that file from uh, directory, any directory where you have, and uh, here you can see uh, all the things. Then also you can see output window. You can also check everything there, all the options you have. Uh, code folding, code folding, which we have studied then earlier, also there earlier also there yeah like you know you can also check the monitor uh, clipboard and log files uh, read only uh, 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 a lot of things like you know word wrap options uh, tab and indent a lot many things and also you can uh, make uh, a project group like combining uh, uh, n number of uh, lexical and yacc files together into a single project file sometimes uh, you, you can also look for uh, spell checks if at all uh, if, if at all there are any mistakes there okay fine so you need to always uh, check the what is the important thing here is uh, what kind of compilation mode we are going to use the compilation mode uh, majorly depends upon the type of file what we are choosing since uh, this is the first one i am just telling you that uh, first one is there will be five different uh, six different options there pure lexical file only and then lex file with yoc file and then combining both right so first one is uh, compile an execute lexical file so since it's an ex lexical file what i'm going to do is i'm just going to compile it's compiling the lexical file and uh, yes, uh, output completed it, it 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 says that output completed and uh, we need to check that how the output uh, you know has been uh, completed 
how the output has been completed so what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, folder where uh, uh, this uh, a specific um, uh, content is there now you can see a file called lex.yy is appearing there okay fine now what we need to do we need to go to the project then again tools section again now we need to do what is that lex yoc build now choose the lex yoc build lex yoc build Now it's taking some time. Uh, output completed. Normal termination. Now uh, the program is ready for execution. Program is ready for execution. And uh, now what we need to do is uh, we need to go to the uh, editor and just uh, click execute exe directly. Here you can see the exe is appearing then. What I'm going to do is uh, a uh, test case i'm going to type a uh, test case here now press any key to continue and it's 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 going out of my you know what is a window every time no issues no issues again i'm going to uh, run the same thing execute exe directly it's like, like you know ha Now, if I type, I can also check that in the when I want to say folder or my document section that uh, mm, uh, Lex file section that uh, the thing is running in the background. Yeah, here I can uh, check there. Uh, the file is available for execution uh, or this is another way of executing the program different ways you can also check here lex plus yoc build or uh, no, lex build compilation lex build so again i'm redoing it lex file compile then build the lex yeah it's it's over then we can also check there in the background that now you have a uh, caps uh, exe file appearing there uh, now what you can do is just go there and execute exe directly now caps will be appearing i am typing uh, uh, here as uh, uh, hi caps I'm typing here hi ah, yeah now it's showing that it may enter a string hi when I type hi it says that all the letters are in lowercase similarly if I type using uppercase it says that all the letters are in uppercase okay got it fine thank you Now similarly you can check that, you can check that, you can check that, hi, uppercase and hi, lowercase or otherwise you can do like this, you can also do like this, uppercase, lowercase, lowercase, what it does is actually uh, slices the you know, what is it, text into several uh, uh, tokens, got it, fine, thank you for watching and uh, you can uh, get the f uh, information from uh, uh, the description section of your youtube uh, url so this is the way to run uh, a program this is a simple lex program In the next class i will tell you how to com uh, combine both lex and yoc files that means a file with extension as .l and another file with extension as .y okay thank you